an embarrassing person. I mean, I think we get a picture on that. I was like, I'm, you know, so what's like your most embarrassing like moment that you had? My most embarrassing moment. Well, I was in the car the other day, and I've told this one a couple times. <clears throat> But I was in the car, and I turned up this music, and I'm like, hey, I'm kind of getting it, kind of like dancing, you know, passenger seat dancing, how you do? And so I'm like really getting into it by this point. I am like getting it. I used to tour around and do hip hop, so I'm like busting out my pop lock and drop it as much as I can while you're sitting. And I see a flash, and I look to my right, and there is a school bus full of children, all with their cameras pressed up against the window, and phones taking pictures of Dancing. Yeah. <laughs> you see those on like Ocean Opera? Oh yeah. yeah. No, uh, not not that I've seen. No. I know, but I'm waiting because I know in two years it's gonna serve us. Be like. <laughs> okay, so dancing. Tell me about. And before you said you asked like music, like tell me about your music and dancing career. I mean, you're not just an actress. Um, you're everything. My mom was. She thing. asked me yesterday. She's she's like. What's something that you really, really want to do? What's something that you want to have a goal and just that would make you unbelievably happy to do? And I was like, some type of stage performing because I love, I love Disney and it gets out my like stagey type, you know, joking, fun stuff. And then I like films where it's like the camera's right here and so it's like really subtle acting and it's like right behind the eyes and stuff. That's really fun for me. But there's nothing that can compare to the rush of being on a stage and doing a dance and like hearing the music start. And I used to be even on drill team. And so you would walk out all together on the football field and you would look up and you would just see the stadium lights and you would see like a sea of faces and like flashes and sparkles and the bright green grass and like you would be surrounded by that and you feel the vibe and you feel, all right ladies, your music's on. And like that's when, you know, it's like, months and months and months of practice and you know like this is not a blade like this is a blade like the little <laughs> like the little minute differences all of that builds to that one like that two minutes and that's where it's really important and that is just unbelievably yeah it's indescribable and so I love dancing I would love to dance and music is really um, obviously it goes hand in hand with dancing and for me a lot of people ask like why do why does everyone on Disney sing and First of all, like, I can point out how the people who don't sing. Like, Dylan and Cole, they can sing. They can sing. Yeah. I've heard them sing, they can sing, but they don't sing for Disney. That's just not their thing. And for me, like, I'm very artistic. Like, we were talking, I tie-dye t-shirts, I do, like, a whole bunch of crazy stuff. But music is another different form of art that I feel is, like, super personal. And so I write songs. I've kind of written since I was little and playing guitar and stuff. And um, so music is it's super personal to me. So I would love to, to continue in doing music whether or not I do it for the masses, I know that I'm going to be doing it at home. We have like little recordings of me and my brother just playing around and joking and stuff like that. And uh, Hopefully I actually recorded a single called Adios that hopefully will be out one of these days to share with you guys and depending on if you guys like that and want more, I think too. Okay, and how we kind of end always is like where do you see yourself in five years? Five years. I will be 21. Um, hopefully I will have a few movies under my belt. And um, I, I would love to be very proficient at guitar by that point. Um, and I actually would love, I've been begging my brother to let me play back up for him in his band. <laughs> I've been begging. So hopefully I will have played like one show or two with him. Um, honestly, just, I don't know, just wherever, wherever it is, I kind of want people to look and say, that shirt is really W of you to do, or to wear, because it's not just one shirt, because it's like a punk vest and like a preppy polo and everything put together, and that's kind of how I am. I'm very like, artistic, but I'm all over the place, wrapped into one little bundle. And so I kind of want to, to communicate to kids and to people that are kind of listening that it's okay to mix different styles. You don't have to be one little cookie cutter. And just because you don't want to be preppy doesn't mean that you have to be punk or like scene or emo. And just because you want, don't want to be that doesn't mean you have to be anything. So, like, I really like to encourage kids to just find... And so if I, if I, if I could have done that, I would love to have, like, a clothing line or something like that. Or, like, even, like, a little accessory line to just let kids know that it's okay to mix and match and find who they are through that. Awesome.